Smoke it till it's stupid state, stay until it's late Sweet like chocolate cake, part just like the shit I roll off paper plates Search for sweet escape because inside I feel I'm dying slow I tell you all that What is happening in my dogs? My name is Madison and I am the auction dog And today I'm coming back to you with a, with a really cool car that I have for sale And unfortunately it's leaving right now You know, I really didn't get to film a super long video with, with this one But I'm really, really, I really, really love this thing And I just want to show you guys how cool it is before it actually leaves here And I never get to see it again So this is this is my 2001 uh, 540i, and this isn't an M Sport, but it's like the year right before technically it was an M Sport, I guess. So they came with the M Pars, they came with Shadowline trim, six speed, uh, the LED tail lights. This one has a half, it's got a cat back exhaust on it. it came with the with the roof with the trunk spoiler, little trunk lift spoiler there. But the thing that makes this car so special, and it's you'll you find this with a lot of BMWs in general. Sorry, my hair is so freaking crazy. Uh, the thing that makes this car truly special is uh, the fact that it's got this really rare color combo. It's called uh, Schiff and Grun metallic exterior, and yes, the paint it needs paint. Like the trunk and the hood are kind of sauced, you know. But this it's called Schiff and Grun metallic. But paired with this particular interior spec, it's an incredibly rare car. And so. Uh, Overall, in an E39, it'd be, it's, it is quite rare in America to even see a two-tone interior like this. And yes, it's missing the sunroof panel there. But look at the two-tone, dude. It's beautiful. It's got this really, really pretty color to it. Absolutely not answering whoever that is. It's got a really, really nice color to it. You know, and this, this wood trim, I want to say it's just Vavona or something. It's a relatively common color, but the interior itself is really really rare dude and look how nice of a condition it is it's in great shape man whole thing's really really clean look at it it's friggin beautiful and the kid who had bought this is, lives in north carolina and i'm actually shipping it up to the to him today we got a transporter waiting outside and i'm gonna get it loaded and get her gone but i just wanted to show you guys how cool these things are and they're they're getting expensive now 540i's are really really at least the six speeds are really getting expensive and so this would have been a ten thousand dollar car had the paint been done had it had history of guides it's got 114,000 miles on it and no history of guides or anything like that and this is like right at the age range where you're gonna have to do a lot of maintenance on it it needs a cooling system needs a bunch of other stuff but it's really worth it i think he paid 52.50 for the car overall and i think he's gonna do really well on it and I, I want to say he works at a shop as well up in North Carolina. Check this out, though. Dude, the color. It sounds so good. It sounds so good. This is a special 5 Series. Not all of them are worth money. Not all of them are extremely cool. This one, however, is cool as freaking hell, dude. It really is. This is, this, is, this is about as good as it gets. This is about as good as it gets before you buy an M5. You know, and the M5 would have to be in a really nice spec as well. It's just like, spec is everything with the, with these cars. You know, spec is everything with anything really that's European and, and people pay money for. It's all about the colors. It's all about what they are. And this car is is really, it's tits, man. It really is. And the overall experience is really nice inside of here. You know, the AC works. Everything's in good shape. The ABS lights came on when they uh, during the rainstorm the other day. But... No big deal. And it's just really clean. This this screen's a little shot, but who gives a fuck about any of that stuff? That's all repairable. It's really about this stuff. You know, dude, it's like the seats are clean. They're not torn. Interior's in really good shape. Who keeps calling me? I'm not answering this fucking phone call right now. Stop. Okay. Anyways. So... I got a transporter literally waiting out front for me right now. I just think that this car is so nice, dude. It's so special. And it really is just, I would have kept this car if I didn't have this one personally. And then also this ZHP just got dented in the freaking door uh, this weekend in, in freaking Key West. I was supposed to film a real long video with this car, but I just didn't get it done in the amount of time that I had the car. So I just wanted to show you how cool this thing was to begin with. Man, 
the kid who's gonna get this car is gonna really enjoy it and I told him to keep me updated on the build and everything I just want to know what happens with it you know yeah so here she goes the car's gone unfortunately I drove it for a little while had some fun with it but had to get her gone and the car sounds fantastic dude Dude. Look at these people. She's gone. Such a beautiful car, dude. The M62 really is a special car. Vlog. You know, it's just we're just vlogging. Special car, really. going to North Carolina. Hopefully we get some updates on her. Well, GoPro battery just died, but she's loaded. She's gone. Out of here. Gonna miss that one. That one was a hard one to let go of, honestly. Take it easy, man. Thank you. You guys have a good day. Thank you, man. Take it easy. All right, she's gone. Another one out into the wild, dude. Sucks selling the nice ones. I really, that one I wanted to keep, but I just can't do it. I can't do it. I needed to let her go. So, thank you guys for watching this far, if you have. This kind of this episode was kind of sporadic. I like to film reviews with these stupid cars, but I didn't get to do it with this one. Just too much shit going on. Uh, if you haven't already, check out theauctiondog.com. We got all kinds of merch on there. You can keep up with our builds. Uh, we're on Instagram. We're on freaking Facebook, kind of. Not really. But, uh, yeah, we're just trying to trying to pump out some good content and show you guys what it's like to be a dealer. Uh, if you did like this video, go ahead and drop a, drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notifications. Keep up with us. And uh, until next time, peace out, my dogs.